Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. I am so excited to be sitting down here and talking to you guys today. It has been, oh my gosh, like six weeks at least since I've actually sat down to film a video. I got an all new setup here. I got a new camera. I got new lighting. I have a new microphone and audio coming. So I'm kind of in the process of testing everything out here. So this is my first video sitting down with this whole new setup. So we're just gonna kind of play with it and see how it goes. I got some new extensions going on here, but today we're gonna talk about makeup. I actually have a hair video that I wanna do too because I've completely kind of changed up my hair styling products. I have found things that I've just been absolutely loving so much. And it's been a long time since I've switched up hair products. So I'm gonna do another video on like all about like hair and all that stuff in another video. But today, I have a huge bin of new makeup. So I haven't filmed, like I said, in like a good six weeks or so, but that has not stopped me from buying new makeup and just testing things out. So I definitely have some new makeup here, some like new release makeup and everything that I have been trying, I've been using, and I can give you guys my thoughts. We can go over what's a hit, what's a miss, and just what I've been absolutely loving. So I think I'm gonna do this video first. Well, I'm already sitting here. I'm gonna do this video first. And then I think my next video, I'm gonna do a get ready with me, and I'm gonna use like my May favorites because I've been definitely doing a specific makeup look and it's kind of what I have on right now. It's just like my favorite go-to products right now. So I'm going to sit down with you guys and film a get ready with me and we're going to go over all my favorites of the month of May at the same time. So that'll be coming up next. But let's just dig on into this makeup today and just chit chat about, you know, what I think is worth the hype, what I think is worth the price and then, you know, some others that are not. So if you want to stick around and see all of my new latest reviews on this makeup, then just keep on watching. So let's start out with a definite hit. Oh my gosh. This is the Hourglass Veil, the translucent setting powder. So I bought this literally right when it came out. So it's been a few weeks now. So you guys, I'm sure have all seen probably people talking about this. I have not watched a single YouTube video in at least like two months, I've been so busy. So I have no idea what's going on in the world of makeup. These are just my own like little personal, you know, thoughts. So keep it at that. This is the Hourglass powder though and I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, I have not reached for a single other powder for setting my under eyes since I started, you know, trying out this powder. So it's a translucent powder. I absolutely love Hourglass. Like I love their products. Their makeup is so good. They're definitely one of my all time favorite brands for sure. And this powder just tops everything. I am telling you, it is amazing to set the under eyes with. My under eyes, no joke. I put my concealer on. I set my concealer with this powder and I am like good to go for the rest of the day. I feel like my under eyes look so flawless and I just love this powder. I actually really haven't used this to set my whole face or anything like that, you absolutely can. But to set the under eyes, it does not cake, it does not crease, it does not look super powdery, and it just leaves like the most perfect, flawless look under your eyes. It's like the most silky, lightest powder, and oh, I love it. Just absolutely love it. It just gives the most flawless, flawless look. And you'll notice when you put this under your eyes, I, I'll show you what I use. I use like a beauty blender or like a sponge and I just dab it under my eyes. It just disappears, blends in with your concealer and it's, mm, it's perfection. Should we talk about all the hits first and then the misses or should we just combine them? I'm thinking, you know what, let's just combine them. I'm gonna grab a miss. This was a huge fail, a huge miss for me and it's the Cover FX, it's the mattifying setting spray. I don't know what it is. Like I always get questions from people. They're like, you know, what's your favorite setting spray? I don't ever see you use setting sprays. And to be honest, I really never use setting sprays ever. So I was curious about this Cover FX one though. I absolutely love Cover FX. Again, their products are some of my favorites and they have this mattifying setting spray. There's no alcohol in it. Like it's not hardcore alcohol. That's why personally, I don't like a lot of setting sprays. They're just pure alcohol. Like you're drenching your face in alcohol. Like we all know how damaging that is to your skin. So a lot of setting sprays, you just look like they're just horrible for you. I forget. Um, okay, so the ingredients are on here, but I remember it was like kaolin, like which kaolin helps to really control oil and stuff. So there were some good ingredients in here that I could see why it was called the mattifying spray because it's going to help to control your oil. So I was like, oh, like this could be really good for the summer and the heat coming up and all of that. 
going to the beach. Just, you know, something that I can spray on after I'm done with my makeup and maybe it'll just hold up even that much more. So I bought this. I tried it twice now. And seriously, the two times that I've tried it, I've had to wash my makeup off. Like this is a setting spray. This is what you use at the very end of your makeup. And I've literally had to take and just like wipe all of my makeup off because it just ruined my entire makeup look. I would spray it from far away. I would shake it up really good like you're supposed to. And then I would spray it from a good distance away. And every time I did that, it would leave like this like nasty white, like speckly stuff on my skin and on my makeup. And you could like see it, like it would dry. And then you would see all these like little speckles of this mist and it just made my skin. And I mean, honestly, it looked horrible. I was like, how is this supposed to make your makeup look better? I look like I have like a white speckly face. Like, oh my God, it was so bad. So two times I've tried this, two different foundations even, and both times I've had to go wash my entire makeup off and then start again. So this was a huge miss. And again, why I'm not a big fan of setting sprays, they just don't, I feel like they don't do anything. Okay, so this one is kind of like an eh type of product. This is the new La Mer bronzing powder and I got so many different comments and just like messages everywhere on social media about trying this and they wanted my opinion. So I, I used to be a big fan of La Mer, um, but since I've kind of started my journey of like more healthier makeup and just really looking at ingredients and seeing what I'm putting onto my skin, I'm not the biggest fan of La Mer anymore because they add so much perfume to their products. Like even this bronzer, which is just absolutely beautiful. Yes, I will give it that. It's so pretty. Just smelling it. Oh my God, like you open it up and you just get this like huge like smell of perfume. Like it's just too much. So for me, that's just like a huge turn off now. I really stay away from products that have fragrance and perfume in them. There's just no need for that at all. Talc is the main ingredient in this powder and talc is just like the cheapest ingredient ever. So like you're just paying for the La Mer name. So I mean, if you wanna do that, hey, go ahead. But going on to the actual product itself, this bronzer, as beautiful it is, it has like the bronze, it has a little bit of that like highlight in it. And then it also has this like gorgeous kind of like pink little blushy tone too. So I would just take my brush and swirl it around to get all the different shades. And then I would apply it just like I would any other bronzer. Now, for me, I'm about like a medium skin tone. I am definitely more tan now. I've been here in California now for a month. So I've been to the beach. I have been at soccer tournaments all weekend long for my kids. So I'm definitely, I'm wearing my SPF and my hats, but I'm definitely still like getting some natural tan. So I am more of like a medium skin tone right now. And this doesn't show up on me that, that much. I mean, it's not that dark. I, it's definitely light. If you would have more light skin tone, it would be better for you. Do you see that? I hope you guys can see that. Let me try to get in the middle of the camera here. That would help. Um, but you can see the swatch is right here. And it's just, it's just not the darkest. It doesn't show up that great on me. It does have a really pretty kind of like rosy tone to it because you're getting that um, blush that's kind of like color sweeped in there as well. But for me, I have way better bronzers that show up a lot more on my skin that don't have this like crazy perfume smell. It will work better if you do have more fair skin tones, but if you are a medium skin tone like I am or darker, like you're just not gonna pick up a lot of, you know, bronzer type effect to your skin. Like I said, I love my bronzer. I wanna see some bronzer. I'm using the Hourglass, um, which one am I using? The Diffuse Bronze Light today. I have just been all about that one bronzer. That's what you're gonna see in my favorites video. I've been all about that Hourglass bronzer and I just absolutely love it. Like their bronzers show up, they are gorgeous and they are like half the price even of the La Mer. I just, I just, I'm not a big fan. Not a big fan. All right, let's talk about a definite hit now. This is one that's a definite hit. I feel like I have a lot of misses. This is a hit for sure and I am completely in love with this. This is the Kat Von D. This is the new brow powders that she just came out with. I have been loving this. I use this every day when I'm doing my brows. It's what I have in my brows today. And if you guys saw like how I previously did my brows, I go over my brows with powder first and then I take like a brow pencil and just kind of go through them a little bit more. But I start every 
day brow routine with this powder and it is amazing. Now, this brush is her brush as well. This just came out. It's the Kat Von D number 75 brush. All right, can you see the detail of this brush? I can't remember if we have autofocus on or not. <laughs> I'm hoping that this is in focus right now. Anyway, it's an angled brush, but it kind of has like little slits in it that's supposed to make it look more like a brow hair. I really love the brush as well. I feel like the brush kind of makes it as well. It's so easy to use. I just use the brush, I dip it in there, and I go over my brows. It honestly just does such a good job. The powder doesn't move, it doesn't budge, it just lasts all day long. And the combination of this brush, I mean, I don't, honestly, I've tried so many different brow brushes before. This is definitely my favorite brush. Like, I don't know what it is about it. It just makes your brows go on so easy. And I feel like with powder, that's, tricky because I've tried other brushes with powder and they just don't give that same like precise, like really soft and nice look like this does. Powders I actually really like for brows. I mean, I have the most sparse brows to begin with, but I still try to use a powder because it just softens the brow and just kind of gives it a more natural look versus if I would just use my brow pencil, you just get a little bit more of like a harder kind of harsh look. So I personally have been really loving using powders for my brows. And this is just, I'm telling you guys, it is amazing. This is the color, um, what did I say the color was? It was like a medium, medium brown. And it's perfect because it's like a good brown that's not too gray toned and it's not too golden undertone. It's like a really good, perfect, like neutral, a little bit more ashy brown. So it goes, it's gonna go good for a lot of people if you have like, light brown, medium brown hair, somewhere in there. Like this is gonna be your perfect shade. All right guys, we're gonna talk about another miss. This is a complete miss and it's just been something that, I mean, honestly, I was like, am I the only one that doesn't like this? I had a feeling like everyone on YouTube would be talking about this. Like I said, I haven't watched any YouTube videos in forever, but it's the Sunday Riley. It's the clean long wear foundation. Now, I was drawn to this because of the ingredients. There's no chemical ingredients, like just nothing that's like, well, I shouldn't say chemical. Chemical people think like that there's all bad chemicals. There's some good chemicals as well, but it's all like more better, more clean ingredients. So that's what I was drawn to. There's no talc, there's no fragrance, there's no gluten, no paraben, cruelty free, all of that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I was drawn to this for sure. And I tried it out probably about five different times and it is, horrible on me. Like this foundation is so bad on me. Let me pull it out here. It looks like this. Comes in a little tube like this. I got so oily with this foundation. I am like a combo oily skin. I got so incredibly oily with this within like the first two hours of wearing it. And then my skin will kind of like get patchy and just like I don't know, like slide off my skin. I mean, honest to God, I tried it a bunch of different ways, different powders, different primers even. I don't even wear primers half the time with a lot of my foundations, but I tried different things with this over the past month. And it was like a chore to do so because I was like, oh my gosh, I know this is going to be so bad. I know I'm going to have to wash my face in like two hours. And every time that's what I had to do. It just did not work for me at all. All right, let's talk about osmosis really quick because I finally got around to trying their foundation sponge. So I've had so many people message me and ask me, they're like, have you tried this sponge yet? Because they just came out with the sponge not that long ago. And honestly, like I haven't tried it. Like I just wasn't that in a hurry to try it. You guys know I love the Osmosis makeup to death. I love it. Um, but I'm kind of true to my beauty blender and I've tried so many different sponges before, like makeup sponges that say they're gonna be, you know, just like the beauty blender or someone on YouTube says it's better than the beauty blender and I'm always like completely let down because I always come back to my beauty blender after even trying so many other sponges. So this little guy right here though, oh my gosh. I am not exaggerating. I am not kidding. This is better than the beauty blender. For some, I don't, again, osmosis, they just know what they're doing. And this blends my foundation onto my skin so seamlessly where you do not even look like you have foundation on. So I've actually taken some of my other foundations that are a little bit like heavier on my skin 
and I've tried it with this blender here and even on a little bit heavier foundations this somehow still presses it into the skin and just makes my skin look really flawless I love that it has this edge to it too so it's not like a complete like normal looking beauty blender I'm sorry it's completely dirty right now I just used it to apply everything today but I love that it's got this flat edge so when I'm applying my foundation I actually use the flat side and I just kind of go all over just like I do with my beauty blender and you'll see this when I do my next get ready with me because this is what I will be using for sure. Um, I just take it and I blend everything like that. But the thing that I really love about this too is this flat edge so that when I am taking my hourglass powder, when I'm using this to set my under eyes, what I do is I just take the flat side and I dip it right on into the side of my powder and I go right under my eyes with that flat side and it gets the under eye area perfect like perfect. If you're one of those people who really likes to bake under your eyes, this gives you the most seamless, seamless bake ever under your eyes. Now, me personally, I don't really bake the under eyes. I just take a light dusting of powder and I have been setting the under eyes. This does the most flawless, flawless job. Oh, I love this sponge. I honestly can't believe that it's that much better than the beauty blender. Like I said, I haven't tried anything that I've really gravitated towards more than the beauty blender, but this just leaves your skin so flawless. Foundation, powder under the eyes. I mean, you can take this, and I actually did this today too. You can get your powder, I used the same hourglass powder, and I took it and I went like underneath and just did like a quick little cleanup under my um, like bronzer and blush, and flawless absolutely flawless. This little sponge is a must. Okay, so I picked up three of the new Armani products. So I picked up the Neo Nude Fusion Powder, and then I picked up the Professional Liquid Face Highlighter and the Professional Liquid Face Contour. You guys know I love my liquid products, my liquid bronzers, my liquid highlights. I am wearing the, what am I wearing? The Cover FX Custom Drops, um, I don't remember which one, Celestial, I think, as my highlighter today. And I love all those like cream and liquid type products. I just feel like they just blend so beautifully onto your skin and I just love them. Like I'm definitely a liquid and like cream type of girl for sure. So I was really kind of curious about these Armani ones. Now Armani makes that liquid summer bronzer, which is absolutely beautiful. It's such a great bronzer. It's the one that comes in a little dropper and it's a gorgeous, like really pretty bronzer. So I had that in the back of my head. I was like, okay, like Armani has made some really good liquid type products before. So I was like, okay, let's try these out. So they come in really cute little packaging. I will say that they're cute little I mean they're honestly the size of a lipstick but it's like a nude packaging it comes out in this little doe foot applicator like this and what I did when I was trying this out now again I tried this out a couple different times a couple different ways um basically what I would do is I would just take this and then I would apply it like down just a couple drops and down like my contour area and then if you want to take it around your hairline which I've tried this is the dark shade okay guys so when I pick this up there's a light shade and there's a dark shade let's just keep in mind that this is the dark this is what it comes out when it's on your hand like that's what it looks like you're like oh okay like that's not bad when you blend this out and now I've done this with my hand I've done it with my beauty blender with my sponges I blended it out because again that's what I do with all of my liquid products Liquid bronzers, liquid contours, I always like blend with a sponge. So I blended this one with a sponge as well. And then also again with my fingers I've tried, it completely disappears on your skin. Like I've never seen anything disappear as much as these contour products. I never can see it on my skin. And again, I've tried it multiple different ways and every single time the product completely, completely disappears. I'm like, did I even put anything on? It actually kind of takes away my foundation when I'm dabbing it in. It's just, oh, it's not good. This is the most natural contour you probably will ever get because it completely disappears on your skin. This was a huge, huge miss for me. And yeah, not good. So let's talk about the highlight now. Um, the highlight comes in the same type of little lipsticky type of little nude bottle same little doe foot applicator as well now this only comes in one sh no i lied two shades i believe there's two shades of this highlighter as well 
Um, and I don't remember which one this is. This might have been, like there's just two different tones and I feel like this is more of the whiter tone and then there's more of like a bronzy tone. So I went with this one because that's kind of like what I like my highlighters to be. All right, so can we all see that? That's the swatch of it just right on my hand. So that's the tone of it. That is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna blend this out because again, I blend out with my fingers. When I'm blending out a highlight, what I did today is I blended all of this out with my fingers. I would just dab it on and I would just keep blending until it's all just blend it in. It's so easy with your fingers. So again, that's what I'm used to. I would just blend this in with my fingers, just dabbing it in. Again, it honestly completely disappears. Like you will get the most faint, subtle, I'm talking subtle. <laughs> You're gonna get a very subtle glow. Like this to me, I mean, I have used the No Highlighter Highlighter by Paracone. That you get a better glow from than this. This is so subtle. I mean, okay, so it's right in here, guys. Like you can see maybe a tiny bit. Can you see a tiny little bit of glow? It's very subtle, very subtle. But for me, it's a little bit too subtle. Um, when I blend it into my cheekbone and stuff, it just a lot of times feels like it's disappearing again. So not my favorite, but this one I would say is definitely way better than the contour. The, com the contour completely disappears. Like you won't see it. It's the most invisible contour ever. Um, but the highlight, you do get a little bit of that glow. So I would definitely say the highlight is better than the contour hands down. But for me, both of these products just aren't my favorites. I told you guys, I have so many misses. I feel like such a negative, mean person today coming back from my first video back and I'm like, this sucks, this stinks. But I'm just being completely honest with you guys. Like this is all stuff that I've been really testing out for the past month. Um, and I'm just letting you guys know my actual real thoughts. So moving on to two makeup brushes. I picked up two new ones of these. Now these are ones that I previously have owned now for a while. And I mean, they still were good. I just like to kind of change or like repurchase makeup brushes after I've had them for a long time because I feel like they're never going to be completely, completely clean. And with these it Cosmetics brushes, just being at the price point they are, they're a super price point. I just repurchased them so that I could replace my old ones. So um, these are the two It Cosmetics brushes that I swear by for foundation. It's the It Cosmetics the Airbrush Buffing Foundation, this is the 110. And then this one's pretty much the same thing, only it has a slant, so you can just see the difference. And this one is the Airbrush Complexion Perfection 115. So they're both so super soft. And when I'm using my Osmosis CC Cream, that is what I use my brushes for. Like when I'm using my liquid foundations, I usually use a sponge. But when I'm using more of like a lightweight like CC cream or BB cream or tinted moisturizer, I like to use a brush and I stipple it onto my skin because you get actually the best application I feel and even the most coverage. So that's kind of when I use my foundation brushes. These two brushes are just the perfect foundation brushes. They don't leave streaks. They really make your makeup look flawless on your skin. And like I said, I've used these two for a long time now, like years. So these were just repurchases because they're so good. All right, we're gonna talk about another powder here. I picked up the 100% Pure Bamboo Blur Powder and I love 100% Pure. You know, I use and really like a lot of their makeup products for sure. So I wanted to try their powder. Again, this is supposed to be a more mattifying powder. It's a translucent powder. This one is white though. Like you can see it, this one's white. Whereas, let me hold them both up. The hourglass one has more of that like creamy look to it, which I actually really prefer more. So you can see the difference right there. I do prefer the more creamy undertone for my powders. I don't know what it is. I just feel like it looks more like skin usually. Um, usually that's the case for me. So this is a white powder and what do I want to say about this one? This one, again, I've tried it a bunch. This one you do not want to use under your eyes. This one, every time I tried it under my eyes, gave me the whitest under eyes and it looked a little bit powdery and a little bit chalky under the eyes. So this one is not good for the under eyes at all. That is a for sure. Now when I would set the T-zone with it, 
it still gave me a little bit more of that whiter look to my skin so you could kind of see it which I'm not a big fan of but this sucker is mattifying like it really keeps control of like your oil throughout the day it really keeps everything matte so if you have super oily skin and you really do want to kind of control that oil I mean honestly this powder controls oil really well it's kind of drying on the skin I want to say so if you have more dry skin again this is not going to be the powder for you either because I felt like it definitely dried out my skin a little bit but again if you have oilier skin that could be something you're looking for all right so you know my obsession with nude sticks right you guys remember that from like a month ago my obsession continues I am so in love with the nude sticks products so in love so I was at Fashion Island um the other day and they have a where was I they have a nude sticks counter and where was I I think it was in the Macy's department actually they have a Macy's in Fashion Island and I was actually just walking through it and I saw that they had a nude sticks counter and I don't think I've ever seen a nude sticks counter in Sephora where I usually buy nude sticks products so I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, there's actually a counter here. I was so excited. I was like, I'm just gonna play with some makeup. I had my two sons with me and they're like, come on, mom. My son started like playing with the little pencils. He's like, oh, because you know, nude sticks are like all little pencils. He's like drawing with them. Like they have all the testers out. And he's like, look at all these crayons. Look at all these pencils. He's like drawing mustaches on himself. I'm like, guys, okay, put the pencils down. We need to go. So anyway, I did pick up a couple things though because it was so fun getting to test them out in person. So I got this, the lip and cheek pencil, which I am loving. This is in the shade Whisper. The color, oh, the best. Why can I feel like I can't hold my hand the correct way? I feel like I can't swatch anymore. This is the shade though. It is the most, can I get like a autofocus? Can we autofocus? Please see that? It's like a light, beautiful pink. Oh my gosh. It looks incredible on your lips. It's like smooth and creamy on your lips. These last a long time on my lips. I feel like this is going to be the perfect color for my cheeks too. So I will definitely be applying it there as well. But I'm telling you guys, this color is just the perfect everyday light pink like a little bit of that nudie pink it's absolutely stunning absolutely stunning so that's in whisper and i love that i also picked up two of the matte eye pencils so in some previous videos and some previous tutorials i was using the luminous ones which i would just draw on my lid and they give you the best look so i had a bunch of people tell me that I, they're like you need to try the matte ones too so of course i listened and i did okay so this is in the shade this one is in Terra. This one looked really super pretty, just like a perfect kind of like peachy brown. And it looks like that. Like how beautiful is that? So these are a matte eye color and they're so easy to work with because they blend really seamlessly under your eye or under your eye on your eyelid and they just don't budge them. They set and they don't budge. So I've used the luminous ones. This is a matte shade, that's Terra. And then this shade is in the shade taupe. Just look beautiful together too. So that one's taupe. And then that one is Tara. Look at that, like that, just those two together on your eyes would give you the most perfect eye look. So easy to use too. People are so intimidated by products like this or cream products, but they're so easy. So those are the two matte shades I picked up and they are amazing. The other nude sticks that I got then, this is the gel color. This is again a lick and lick. This is a lip and cheek balm. And this is in the shade Heaven. So the other lip and cheek that I got, this one's different this one's not the gel this one's a gel color and this one doesn't say anything so they are like a different formula the gel is a little bit more hydrating and a little bit more like luminous on the cheek and on the lips as well and then that's what it looks like right here so you can see it's like a really pretty just kind of again like nudie color you can see that super pretty on it's just like a great everyday color I really, really like that as well. So that's Haven on that side. And then that's that gorgeous pink that I'm just obsessed with. Where is it? It's right here. Oh, I love that pink, that whisper shade. Oh my gosh. I love these. So good. Nude sticks are amazing. I'm still in love with them. I picked up during the VIB Rouge sale. I picked these up. These are the Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipsticks. These are by Buxom. I picked up two different shades. Um, which ones are they? 
Russian to you and then amuse me. So one's like a light pink, one's kind of like a peachy color. And okay, I like the formula. I like the way they look on my lips. I do not like the colors. I feel like every time I put one of these on, I feel like I'm in like a little like baby doll, like little kid type of makeup look. The colors are just not that like pretty or flattering, I feel like. I don't know, every time I put them on, I feel like a little girl wearing makeup. That's what I feel like. Cause you know how like little girl makeup is always like that like crazy color pink or just like not the most flattering. That's kind of what these are. And do you see how it's like a super bright, I mean, it's like a bright peach. And me personally, I'm not about like those bright colors, you know, like I want like my lips to look pretty and like, I mean, not natural because you obviously have lipstick on, but I don't want to look like a Barbie or like I'm 12 and like applying makeup, you know? So this is just, why can I not swatch today? <laughs> what is wrong with me? This is just way too bright for me. I don't like that color at all. And then this pink one, to be honest, is even worse. Like this is just so not me at all right there. Like it is so bright pink. The formula of them I did like, but going back to look at the colors of what they do have, they just don't have any of those more natural, more baby pinks or light pinks, I should say, or like a nude or a peachy nude. Like they're just too bright. All right, so the last thing we're gonna finish up with today is a mascara repurchase. This is the MAC Hot and Naughty Two Black Lash Mascara. So, um, oh my gosh, like previously, I feel like in my other videos, I was talking about how I really liked the MAC. It was the False Lash Extreme, I believe it was. This is what I was using before that. Then I went on to the MAC Lash, the Extreme Lash, whatever it was. And now I'm back to the Hot and Naughty. I feel like I've tried both of them now enough and I go back, I'm going back to the Hot and Naughty. The Hot and Naughty Mascara is truly the best mascara. Like I absolutely love this mascara so much. I love that it has two different wands. Like this is the coolest thing ever and I love it. There's two different wands. So it's like the same formula, but you get two wands. So you can unscrew, well, let me just show you this one because this one already started. You can unscrew the bottom one and this is gonna give you like crazy volume, just make you look like you have false lashes. Like this will give you extreme lashes. Like it's amazing. They're like dramatic. They're awesome. Just recently, probably since I moved and just like trying, just, I don't even know what, what made me do it because I haven't even tried the top brush before, but I recently started to, and I'm obsessed with the top brush too. This is a more fluffy brush. This is going to give you more of like like I would say like an, an everyday, maybe an everyday look, but it's not like a boring everyday look. Like it makes your lashes so beautiful. It just doesn't give you the intense drama as the other brush, but I love this brush. Like this brush still gives you great lashes. So I love you kind of get like two different looks with one tube of mascara and it doesn't clump, it doesn't flake. I love the way my lashes look with this mascara. So I liked the MAC, the Extreme Lash one that I was using, but as I was finishing up that tube, I was like, you know what? Like it's definitely not as good as the MAC Hot and Naughty. Like this mascara is life. Hands down, definitely try this mascara. Oh my gosh, you guys, I completely forgot to talk about the Armani powder. So when I was talking about the Neo New collection, I talked about the two contour and highlights and I'm just like, throw those to the side that I completely forgot about this powder. So this is the Fusion powder and I'll go over this really quick with you too, in case you're curious. This is their new powder. It's really a cute little compact like this. It's a very like silky type of feel powder. It's really nice. It gives you that kind of luminous look to your skin where it's not like a flat matte kind of powder. Um, it kind of does give you a little bit of that luminosity to it. Now for me, I don't think this is kind of a powder that you would apply if you want coverage. For me, it doesn't apply, you know, a lot of like powder or it's not giving me extra coverage or anything like that. But if you want to just kind of like set your foundation and just dust a little bit of light powder over your skin, this will give you a really soft luminous look to your skin. So it looks like this. I mean, it's a powder, so it's going to be really hard to kind of determine what I'm talking about here. But I will say if you're looking for a powder to kind of set your foundation and just kind of give you a light dusting of powder and just give you a nice little bit like 
extra, little bit luminous look. It's not over the top. It's not like glowy or anything like that, but it does give you just that slight soft glow, then this powder is really gorgeous. All right, guys, that wraps it up for today's video of me rambling on and on about all of this makeup that I've been trying over the past month. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your comments, like down in the comments. Let me know if you guys have tried some of these products as well and how they worked out for you, because I'm super curious. Like I said, I've watched no YouTube videos in a month, so I'm curious like how you feel if you've tried these products too and if you've had the same experiences and all of that fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thank you for hanging out with me today. I missed you guys so much. Let me know what you think of like the lighting and all of that as well. And like I said, audio is coming next. So you're gonna see, a, or you're gonna hear, I should say, a complete like 180 with sound. But let me know what you think of like the lighting and just like everything. Let me know what you guys think. Love you guys. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.